Okay, right, you should have your coat hot dip coated. We've drilled the holes in it there, as you can see in there. But the wood itself, we need to finish the wood, and that means sanding it down. I've got two types of uh, glass paper here. You can see one has got the number 240 on it, and one has got the number 80. The number 80 is the rougher glass paper. You can feel that, and that's all we use first. So we need to sand down all the surfaces of the wood, the front, the back, and even the edges as well. If you look at this uh, a bit closely, you can see there's a mark there left by the coping saw. Now that we probably wouldn't be able to remove with the glass paper. We'd need to take that over to the belt sander and sand that off. But uh, once you've done that, bring it over back to the back to the vise, and then we can put it in the vise like that, making sure it's flat. So do it up in the vise. Got a piece of wood here, we call this a sanding block. Wrap the glass paper around there like that. And then hold it so it makes sure it wraps around like that. Hold it nice and tight. And then just move it back just and forwards along the piece of wood. What we're trying to do is remove all the marks left by the saw or the belt sander. After you've started to sand, never take it back on the belt sander because it will just rough it up. So I now use the 240, wrap that round a piece of wood, hold it tight. And after you've sanded it for a while, you should be able to see the end grain be start to be visible on the end. That's how you sand the ends and sand it until you get rid of all the marks and, you, and, the, and the grain is really visible there. To sand the front, open the vise up like this. Make sure it's sticking out of the vise about halfway so there's, it's not below the vise because you'll get your fingers uh, trapped when you try to sand it. So again, wrap it round, start with the 80 first. This feels quite smooth, but there's still marks on there left from uh, dirty marks that we can remove. So, again, go with the grain. You can see the grain lines of the wood there. So, hold it nice and tight. And take that off. And then put the 240 on. Obviously, the longer you do it, the better quality finish you're, gonna, you're going to get. But at least one or two minutes with either type of glass paper on every surface. And what you should be able to see is the grain really start to be quite visible and all the marks removed. And and then after you've done it on all the front sides and the back sides and all the edges, it's time to varnish it. 